Well, Santa doesn't come to town for another couple of weeks, but today some very special children get to go on an awesome adventure, visiting Santa in his home at the North Pole. Children's Hospital patients with life-threatening diseases are boarding a plane at Mitchell in about two hours. Debbie Gomez from Silver Liners is with me to explain what's in store during their trip. Debbie, good morning to you. Good morning. Well, this is such uh, an experience for these kids. Tell me what it's like for them. Well, I can only speak from my position. I am an elf, and there are a lot of us elves at the North Pole. And it's wonderful to see the families. The mom and dad can sit back and relax and watch us take care of the kids, including the sick child and the siblings, who are usually left a little behind. So they're just as special today as the, the sick children are. And they're just normal, natural kids today, having fun. So tell us what happens during this experience. Well, first of all, they go to the uh, check-in and they get a goodie bag and they meet their elves for the first time. And there is an elf for each family, at least one elf, depending upon the size of the family, it could be two elves. Mm -hmm. And then they get to go on the 128th refueling plane, mm -hmm. which is decorated for the holidays, and they take them to the North Pole. They also get to, they have lunch on the plane, and then they get to go up and speak to Santa in the cockpit, and then they enter the North Pole when they arrive. And there, it's a winter wonderland for them, and they get to meet Santa, and they get a gift from him that's specially chosen for them, and they enjoy themselves. And I've heard that the North Pole looks very similar, it's not, but it looks very similar to a a hangar at the 128th refueling wing. That is exactly correct. Well, Santa has hangars all over the place because he has to travel so far. So this is the one here in Milwaukee. What is it like for you to watch the kids experience this day with Santa? It's magnificent. It's probably one of the best things in the world that you could see. Watching these children who are sick and have to sit through chemo and whatever else is involved and they're just having fun. They're not feeling any pain. They're just having a blast. Now, if folks are interested in helping out with covering the expenses, is there a way for them to get involved? Oh, yes. They could certainly get a hold of the, well, I don't know exactly where we want to send them, but uh, they can certainly call the station and get the information, and we will hook them up. All right. Well, we'll find that information out, and we'll try to get it up uh, on our website with this segment. Debbie, thanks so much for coming in this morning. Thank you for and having us. Thank you for your work with these kids. I You're hope you have a great welcome. day. I know you we will. We will. All right.